Hey everyone, welcome back to another YouTube creator tutorial. Today I'm talking about how to choose a great title for your video. You see here when you start uploading a video that the text from your file name will be posted right here automatically. So if I go over to my files, let's just close this down a bit, go over to my files, you can see that the file name I chose was After Effects Tutorial Rotating Kinetic Typography Revolving 3D Text. Now the reason I did that because it contains a ton of the keywords that people will be searching for to find this video. And why did I choose those, vi those words? Well I did a little bit of research. So one thing I like to do when I post a new YouTube video or even before I try to create a YouTube video is see what else is out there. So someone had asked me for this tutorial, so I went ahead and looked for what I thought would be the keywords I would search for. I would say rotating text after effects. That's probably what I would search for if I was looking for this kind of tutorial. So I see all these different ones. I see Adobe After Effects video tutorial, 3D rotating text. That one has 15,000 views, that's pretty good. That was posted five years ago. There's another one, Rotate Text After Effects Animation Tutorial, Revolve Text in 3D Space, Flip Text, so very heavily keyworded. This one was posted three months ago and has 1,500 views, so that's a good sign. This one, Revolving Text Around a Sphere, that's not what I'm looking at. And then basically I'm just looking for high view counts to see what type of title they used. And so there was one, I believe, that was somewhere down here that had 162,000 views. And what made this interesting to me is because they included the kinetic typography keyword in the title. And so for me, that is a sign that including kinetic typography will boost my views because a lot of people are searching for kinetic typography without After Effects. So while After Effects Tutorial, that is a very strong keyword. I know that because all my videos where I include After Effects Tutorial and the tech title do well. I also want to include kinetic typography. But I also want to include something about rotation or revolving text because that's what the tutorial is actually about. It's not just After Effects Tutorial or it's not just kinetic typography tutorial. It's more specific than that. It is a rotation a text rotation effect. And so this is what I would do. I would look at all these these videos and see what is working and that's kind of what I chose. So I will break this up. So I will say After Effects Tutorial colon rotating kinetic ty typography revolving 3D text. So that's a bit of a wonky text. So what should I do with that? I'm going to, I think I'm going to do kinetic typo revolving te 3D text 3D uh, kinetic typography. So let me just call that kinetic typography. Typically it's better to actually name your file the exact way that your title is. And so that's one other thing that you really need to pay attention to when you are creating the actual file for your video. Don't just call it something random or a bunch of letters or names or numbers. You want to make sure that it includes the, the actual text and the the keywords that will be in your title. So the only thing that this is missing now is rotation, which is another keyword. So I like revolving, I like 3D. So maybe I'll do revolving 3D text and then I will do like a comma rotating kinetic typography. And so that breaks it up so it's not one long jumble of words, it kind of breaks it up a little bit more. And so that's basically how I come up with my titles. I try to balance using keywords and actually saying what the video is about. And that's what makes my videos successful so far. That's what a lot of people's videos do to be successful. It's a delicate balance, but doing your research to see what is popular and then using those keywords on your own videos is something I highly recommend. So that's how I pick titles. Hopefully that helps you and inspires you a little bit for how to pick your own. 